KF7SEY here. I'd like to show you today how to use a USB GPS with UIView32 for a mobile APRA station. Uh, you would need a, a small laptop or a laptop, netbook, uh, something that you would be able to run in your vehicle uh, to run the, the station. Uh, I have a Acer Aspire 1 netbook that's uh, pretty small. Uh, as a 19 volt DC input uh, so you can uh, get a laptop converter 12 volt to 19 volt step up or you could uh, make your own uh, there's several different plans on the internet different ways to uh, get that 12 volt into your uh, laptop so you wouldn't you can run that in your vehicle the GPS I'm using is a Microsoft Streets and Trips 2000, 2009 uh, GPS USB and I had one so I decided just to uh, use that and make that work for uh, an APRA station. Um, I'm, I have not tried any other USB GPS's but I, I'm sure they'll work just fine. Uh, the Magellan Explorist um, and you know some of those other ones are just that are uh, USB GPS's uh, should be able to work with this. The software I'm using is GPS Gate you can find that at uh, gpsgate.com uh, it's uh, GPS gate client as uh, this one here you can uh, download that it's a uh, free so uh, it's a small program downloads very very fast and uh, so go ahead and download that and install that uh, once you install that it uh, will come up and uh, have a setup wizard uh, run that setup wizard and what it does is goes out and finds uh, the USB GPS device that's connected to your computer um, you would go ahead and do the search and uh, it will find that for you and, and then you can uh, set that GPS as uh, the one you want to use. Uh, in my case I have it set on COM 6 and if you uh, want to change that COM port for the GPS because it could be conflicting with something uh, you might have running like your TNC or something like that uh, you would go to start computer properties right click on computer uh, and then properties device manager um, you go ports and, and common LPT here and uh, it will be listed here mine's the Microsoft USB GPS port on COM6 uh, you right click on that and go to properties port settings advance and then it's uh, right here you can down click that and pick one that you need So after uh, you've got that set up, uh, you have your input, which is the GPS, and the output maybe it be makes uh, some virtual COM ports, and then the, those virtual COM ports can be used uh, on several different programs. So if you want to run more than one program that uses GPS at one time, you can. Uh, you would select the different ones in the program that you're running. So once you have that all set up, you would uh, go to your UI view program and uh, go to set up GPS setting and uh, you would select the COM port that was one of the virtual ones like I have here. Uh, I set the baud rate at 4800 I have not tried anything else um, I, I'm not sure if it even matters in this setup uh, I'll have to play with that and uh, see what what that can do but right now I have it set at 4800 I put the show GPS crosshairs on and uh, and then enable the GPS and that makes it enabled because I'm inside my house I'm not getting any GPS signal so uh, it's not locked on so it does not display my position in there and if it did when it does it puts a nice little red X in your position and you have a operating APRIS station where you can uh, have your full station running in your car or truck or motor, motor home so uh, this has uh, been a fun little project for me uh, it's uh, nice to, to be able to use equipment that you have around lying or possibly lying around. So GPS gate, um, virtual GPS, download it, give it a try, and uh, set up a APRA station that works, works pretty good. So I'll say 73, and thank you much for watching my video. KF7SEY.